Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. Now will we continue to 2.4 introduction to the internet. I hope you will be understand and get ready to uh, lecture uh, lecture class and now continue to 2.4 uh, section C explain the use of internet technology in intranet and extranet broadband categories of network internet extranet and intranet global networks that connect computer all over the world to each other for communication this is internet internet mean the global network that connected computer all over the world to each other for the communication that mean if you call the internet you will be connected any computer at the world this is internet Extranet is the extension of intranet to some entities outside the organization or companies. This is extranet. Now, the intranet means internal network which only available inside an organization of a company. Okay, now the smallest the smallest uh, internet is intranet intranet is only only a members can be communicate at the one organization for example college matriculasi joho college matriculasi joho or uh, joho matriculation college this is one organization only a members can be communicate with others this is intranet this is intranet for examples again intranet mean one organization a members can be a connected together and will be communicate for example lecture and student at Johor matriculation college only a members can be uh, communicate with one organization this is intranet and extranet mean this extension of intranet to some entities outside the organization or company for example your parents will be not a members at the entity of Johor Matriculation College so your parent can be communicate with uh, members at the Matriculation College if if your parent will be get ID and password ID and password this is extension of intranet to some entities outside the organization or companies this is extranet and the biggest internet mean a global communicate with others computer at a world this is internet so I hope you will be understand what is intranet what is extranet and what is internet so intranet and intranet as a internal network that only authorized user typically employee access and use internet technology and offer similar business benefit organization use intranet to distribute or share information deploy business application support collaboration and project management simply internal communication and 
streamline business process. So intranets mean that authorized user only can get uh, ID and password. Extranet mean extend intranet facilities to location outside the organization over secure network connection and extranet can connect an organization which brands remote workers supplier distributor business partner key customer and other authorized user to create an extended enterprise that means for example you are members for Johor Matriculation College but your parent is not a member so your parent can can communicate with the organization of Johor Matriculation College and your parent can get ID and password to uh, distribute uh, uh, Johor Matriculation College Management and internet is using website or digital media to distribute and share information this has reduced costs eliminate with an improved customer service compared to paper-based information email instant messaging and social network provide high speed and highly access Abilities communication tools speed up process that are time critical. Collaboration over the internet increase productivity, improves decision making, and reduce travel costs. That means if you connected at your internet, it's very easy to sharing all of the data, and can be a uh, paperless. So, what is a uh, different between intranet, extranet, and internet? So, intranet, that is a private network specific to organization. This is accessible for a members of organization only. And extranet is a private network that use public network to share information with supplier and vendors accessible to members of organization and external members with access to a network but internet is a global system of interconnected computer network can access everyone will be connected at internet so intranet is owned by single organization. User should be valid username and password to access the intranet. But extranet is multiples or single organization. User should be valid user and password to access extranet. In internet is no owner by internet no owner by internet user can access internet anonymously so internet is no one to owner but to connect to the internet you must have a ISP internet service providers for example Cellcom, Maxis, Unify and etc so checkpoint 2.4 define intranet define extranet and define internet what is intranet intranet mean a single organization or private network extranet mean private network to extend the intranet and what is internet internet is a global network so 
I hope you will be understand to uh, subtopic 2.4. This is 2.4 mean introduction to the internet. So this is a 2.4. I hope you will be understand. And now I will be continue to chapter 2.5. Continue to 2.5 is the broadband internet connection the broadband internet connection the broadband internet connection 2.5 is the broadband internet connection what we will learn by chapter 2.5 is describe a different type of broadband internet connection wired and wireless transmission media so what is a broadband broadband is transmission media that transmit multiple signal simultaneously so the broadband will be transmit a multiple signal why user of connected to the internet via broadband internet service because it is a fast data transfer speed and is always on connection user can download web page quickly play online game communicate in real time with others and more this is the why user will be connected the internet via broadband internet services so Transmission media, how to transmit a signal that carries the data. Number one is wired. Number one is wired and number two is wireless. This is type transmission media. Use wire cable and other tangible materials to send communication signals. And number two is send communication signals through the air or space this is wireless and two type of transmission media wired and wireless so wireless wired cable internet services provide high speed internet access through the cables television network via a cable modem this is for example your at your homes this is your computers this is computer your PC and you have a cable modem and cable TV outlet and the uh, cable TV outlet will be connected to television and you can you can watch television from internet from internet describe digital describe a line this is examples use wire you have digital subscriber line or DSL or DSL provide high speed internet connection through the telephone line network via DSL modem so if you use digital subscriber line the line will be splitted at internet and phone line internet and phone line you have internet from phone line and connected to DSL modem and the modem 
will be spread internet internet from the ethernet cable and number two is you can use your telephone line that's mean describe the uh, digital subscribe line will be spread internet line and telephone line so number two fiber to premises FTTP FTTP use fiber optic cable to provide high speed internet access often via a modem this is FTTP fiber to premises for example you use uni5 so you use a cable fiber optics and that's a uh, example for fiber to the permis this is example use unify home line unify home line is use fiber optic wi-fi wi-fi is use radio signal to provide high speed internet connection to computer and device with built-in Wi-Fi capabilities or communication device that enables Wi-Fi connectivities so you use is a very popular to connect the internet is use Wi-Fi so from your phone or your computers if you have a an IC card will be Wi-Fi and IC card you will be can connected the internet uh, the internet uh, via Wi-Fi if you have a uh, access point this is Wi-Fi access point what is access point access point is communication device so if you have a Wi-Fi access point you can access internet from the Wi-Fi number two type of wireless is broadband mobile or bro mobile broadband mobile broadband for example your phone your phone will be connected to the internet use mobile broadband offer high speed internet connection over the cellular radio network to computer and device with built-in compatible technology such as 3G, 4G or 5G or a wireless modem or other communication device so your phone have a modem and you will be connected internet at your computers or phone by a mobile broadband this is used cellular radio network number three is fixed wireless what's mean fixed wireless fixed wireless is provide high speed internet connection using a dish shape antenna or building such as a house or business to communicate with a tower connection via radio signal for example how you can uh, use a fixed wireless at a petrol station you have a parabola and this is uh, connected to the internet this is use fixed wireless and number four to connect to the internet by a wireless is satellite internet service satellite internet service provide high speed internet connection via satellite to a satellite dish that communicate with a satellite modem so you use satellite internet services from a satellite to a satellite to communicate with use via a modem so this is for example use wireless and 
only three type example used by cable so only two type transmission media wired and wireless wired example you use cable internet services number one number two digital subscriber line and number three is fiber to premises and if you use a Wi-Fi use a wireless you can use Wi-Fi you can use from a mobile broadband you can use from fixed wireless and number four you can use from a wireless is satellite internet services so checkpoint 2.5a lease the, the broadband internet connection type based on wired and wireless transmission media you must remember only two type of broadband internet is wired and wireless what is a wire wire you use three and wireless you use four example so I hope you will be understand the lecture today and if you not understand you can message and ask me what you not will be understand okay this is all today thank you see you for the next lecture assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera thank you very much